uh, Joel went here. Uh, first video in a little while. Uh, this is going to be the first of three parts uh, because of the limits put on things by YouTube in terms of time. Uh, it's also going to be red and that may make for a little bit of difference in things. Uh, I'm adding a new theme to my video work. So the title of this is The Coming Metamorphosis of Christianity. I'm going to take up a new organism of themes for my video work in addition to the other two previously developed. The first two will continue with the work of the Songs of the True White Brother next taking up a discussion of various books that have been written out of this impulse. The political blog will also develop along the lines of occasional commentary on current events coupled with various ideas on a practical level concerning what might be worthwhile content for a second American constitution. My earlier video work came to a kind of natural pause as the season of Christmas was morphing into the season of Easter, such that by the beginning of Lent I had stopped making videos for a time. This Easter in 2010 was very intense for me. On a number of levels, mostly inwardly, such that, as was usual for that time of year, I surrendered aspects of my soul that had become old and needed being shed. That is, I let go of these aspects. This dying and becoming of the soul during the season of Easter is well known to me, and it is also part of my life experience that this natural potential metamorphosis of the soul follows a seven-year rhythm as well, in which instance it increases in strength of effects in yearly increments to a kind of seventh-year climax, and then lessens to a much calmer base in yearly intensity until it once more slowly becomes a bit more dramatic on its way to another seventh-year climax. The year 2010 was one of those seven-year climaxes, and since part of this aspect of soul life is enhanced when we consciously participate in it, then you might be able to guess that I had to become very involved in a review of the past aspects of my soul and an evaluation of whether they should be allowed to die away. In terms of the inner life of thought, one will find in my works in various places a discussion of the practice of sacrifice of thoughts. and some years during the season of Easter, this process can become rather deep in nature, and including then habits of feeling and will, as well as thought content. We could say that the more we identify with the teachings of Christ, and the more we manifest those teachings out of our own free will, the more deeply the soul feels the rhythm of the year, especially the process of death and resurrection, representative of the Easter season. What we let go of, which within us has become old and is now dying, is then reborn in a new way during the Easter week, usually beginning as early as Good Friday. Resurrection is something new, not a return of the old. As my soul underwent this transformation in 2010, there followed various changes in my life, and including taking up more deeply in thought, that aspect of the future of humanity that is connected to the future of Christianity. This is not a simple matter on one hand, yet very simple on another. To express this in concrete situations then became the work that I undertook following Easter week, such that the first three productions of this kind, of, th of this third theme, will concern themselves with, a very, with very specific situations. As you can see here, for example, instead of a kind of spontaneous speaking, these materials, at least in the beginning, are going to be written out such that they can be carefully edited before being read to the camera. I need them to be much more focused and tighter in shape and form, given the delicacy of the material, than was my earlier video work. As a kind of preview, here are the titles of the first sets of videos. Keep in mind that because YouTube limits 
the videos of most of us to 10 minutes. It is not yet possible for me to present material except in this kind of broken up fashion, that is, as sets of videos, in order to adequately cover any particular theme. These are Sam Harris and Humanity's Moral Future, which is a reply to Harris's recent TED conference speech. Next, Saving the Catholic Religion from the Roman Church through deepening our understanding of the third Fatima prophecy. The writing of this was prompted by current abuse scandals in Europe and the relationship of the present Pope to that scandal. And the third, Barack Obama and the reality of the Antichrist spirit, which concerns a confusion that is too much entertained by too many regarding what this term, the Antichrist spirit, taken from the letters of John in the New Testament, actually means. I should not fail to mention that I have written two books so far on this theme of the metamorphosis of Christianity. The first was The Way of the Fool, The Conscious Development of Our Human Character and the Future of Christianity, both to be born out of the natural union of faith and gnosis, and New Wine, Foundational Essays Out of a Science of the Spirit, in support of the coming living metamorphosis of Christianity. A collection of essays which includes an important piece called The Natural Christian, written especially for those people who would say something on the order of, I'm not religious, but I am spiritual. The fact is that the Christianity that many see today is much confused, as most people with common sense realize when they compare the actions of many who give themselves the name Christian to what is actually contained in the teachings of Christ as represented in the four Gospels. There are many other matters of import regarding this situation that need to be developed carefully, but with this brief message I wanted to lay out somewhat why this theme of the metamorphosis of Christianity has been added to my other video work. Mostly it should be kept in mind that what is presented here is grounded in practice such that through practice the inner life of thinking, feeling, and willing is transformed. As a result, when we produce any cognitive content, the themes of these videos for example, it has been thoroughly informed with many years of experience and is not a mere exercise of the intellectual parts. For a more careful elaboration of this cognitive element, see my essay booklet, Living, Thinking, and Action. I'm now going to take a break because I have to spread this stuff out in different videos.